influence you to become a petrol at Molly? Uh, I think my my mum was a big influence actually. Uh, I grew up, both my parents competed in motorsport, uh, but I didn't get involved till I got my license for the road. So I used to watch and go to the events, but um, it wasn't until I sat behind a wheel and actually experienced for myself, just, just learning to drive to get onto the road, um, that I yeah fell in love with the sport and uh, fell in love with driving. What do you think needs to be done to get more young ladies into motorsport? It's a good question and um, you know I think the biggest thing is getting more young girls involved at a grassroots level you know we see how many people get involved in motorsport across the board um, and then obviously you know as people go old, get older you know some people got to do different things and so then the you know the funnel kind of starts to, to narrow out so the more I think females we can get at the grassroots trying it out then the more we're going to see feed up through the series. And you spend a lot of time alone in your car what do you think about with all that time? It's mostly I just test my singing skills. Oh good! Do you have a favourite tune? Oh not particularly, you know, just something really, you have to be, it's got to be louder so you can't hear my shouting over the top yep. and it's best if, when I do it alone obviously because it's very bad. What is the dream gig? I feel like I'm living the dream. I right. reckon you kind of are right now but I reckon WRC I can see you right there, that'd be pretty sick. <laughs> yeah look I mean WRC is always the, the ultimate dream I think for any driver but um, you know I think the goal has always been to you know, be a professional driver, and I have that opportunity with Subaru, and, and to you know, to win a championship in 2016, and and we're right back uh, ready to fight again. So I think, yeah, to be able to do that, it's, I'm totally living my dream. And I'll be happy when it could be anything in your career, or just that you wanted some barbecue chicken at the end of a really long hard race. Oh, I mean, I definitely need some chocolate at the end of a rally. <laughs> that makes me very happy. <laughs> but um, I think, like the thing over the past few years, having you know, winning the championship, then coming so close to winning the championship. And, and I think that the biggest thing that I learned through all of that is that, you know, you've got the enjoyment of driving has to be the first thing. So I, you know, I'm happy when we drive and we do a good stage. And obviously the goal is always to win, but, um, you know, so many things are out of your control in this sport and it can be a really cruel sport. So I think, um, yeah, resting the happiness on, on me getting a good feeling and, and driving through a stage and going, yep, that was fun. Um, yeah, that's the most important.